Hey, what's up guys? And um, this is going to be my top 25 comic book purchases of uh, 2013. And you know what? I mean, I'm not going to lie. This, this was extremely hard to narrow down. I mean, <clears throat> going through my uh, all my books that I've accumulated over this past year. Man, especially since going on YouTube, guys. I mean, I've amassed so many books um and it was so difficult to try to narrow it down i mean there's a lot of great great books that are being left out but um you know i had to narrow it down and <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i mean i cheated just a little bit um you know i said top 25 but i did pick <laughs> a couple books six books as honorable mentions um just that didn't quite get on the list but they still need to be mentioned because they're still great books but even then like i said there's just still so many great books that I couldn't show, but, you know, it's all good, um, so we'll start with the, the honorable mentions, first one right here is, uh, Batman 608, second print, uh, variant cover, um, yeah, um, this book, holy crap, is so expensive, dude, I mean, people are paying a hundred bucks for this book, I mean, you look on eBay, and, I mean, bidding, bidding, not buying now, but bidding. People are going up to 100 on this book. And it's so expensive and so hard to find as well. I mean, I like I said, I've been trying to look for this book for a long time. You know, I yeah, a few years ago, I mean, I had a chance to buy a couple copies of these for really cheap. And I passed it up because, but this was before the book got really hot. And, you know, I always felt that, you know, first prints are what everybody wants, not second prints, so I just totally ignored it, even though it's a badass cover, and I totally regret that now, I mean, some of the second print books, I mean, this is like one of the ones where the uh, rare case where the second print's worth more, um, you know, also 612, um, the sketch cover, second printing with Superman holding Batman, I mean, that book's worth a hell of a lot more, I think that book's going up into the hundreds as well, but, um, yeah, this book had I had to mention it. Um, just an awesome book, great cover. Um, and this is a book. I mean, you, you you're not gonna really find it, but you know there is potential and a possibility where you could find it in a store that really doesn't deal with back issues. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not their main focus. They don't keep up with the prices. Um, you could possibly find it in a back issue bin for really cheap, and if you guys ever do, I mean, don't even hesitate, buy this book, especially for how much it's going for, I mean, the book's insanely expensive, so I, ha I had to uh, add this in as an honorable mention, and another book that I put on there, a uh, book that I picked up earlier this year, Vengeance of Bane, number one, now, if this was last year, this book definitely would have been in my top 25, but... The book's cooled down a lot since, uh, you know, Dark Knight Rises movie came out. Still a $40, $50 book, though. Um, it's still a great book to have, First Appearance of Bane. Um, so I had to put it in here. And another Batman book. This is a Batman 189, you know, First Silver Age Scarecrow. Um, a great book. A, you know, a pretty big key issue. But I didn't put it in just because I feel this book's got a little more room to grow. Um, just because this book, I, from, to me, it kind of gets overshadowed a little bit by 181 for Poison Ivy. And like I said, I, I have a feeling this book still has some more room to grow and uh, more potential out of it. But it's still a big book nonetheless, and that's why I had to put it in the honorable mentions. And... Daredevil 131, First Appearance of Bullseye, um, just an awesome book, major, major, major uh, Daredevil villain, probably his, besides Kingpin, his biggest villain, um, I put it in here just because, god damn, this book is so expensive now, this book has really gone up, um, and I have a feeling it, it, it's going to stay around where it's at right now, um, it could potentially actually go up more, you know, but uh, definitely worth mentioning, Great book to have. Very happy to have that book. And this one, Flash 139, first appearance of uh, uh, Reverse Flash, Professor Zoom. Um, 
to me, an underrated Silver Age key issue. Um, I have a feeling this book's got a lot of potential, especially I just read, because, you know, they're doing a Flash TV show, and, and Professor Zoom is going to be the main villain in the show. So expect this book, especially when a show comes out. I mean, I, I have a feeling this book's going to really jump up where it should be. Um, so, I mean, guys, if you don't have it and you're interested in The Flash and you like The Flash, definitely pick this up now before before the prices start spiking, before, you know, the, the show comes out. It's definitely a great book to have and underrated as well. And my last one, um, I had to throw this in, Journey into the Mystery Annual Number 1, First Appearance of Hercules. Um, just because the fact that it's, you know, a Silver Age first appearance of a hero, you know... Silver Age first appearances of heroes are typically always worth more than villains. And I have a feeling, that, I mean, this book is to me also, it, it's pricey, but it, it's still kind of undervalued. Just the fact, I mean, Hercules is a pretty big damn hero, and he's an Avenger. And um, I know, I just have a feeling this book has potential to be worth a lot more than what it is. And uh, it's definitely worth a pickup, and it's a great book to have. Alright, so let's get into the actual top 25 now. Sorry about that, guys, but I just had to throw those out. Now, um, yeah, a lot of these are in here just because they're either just huge books to have or they're books that have a lot more potential and should rise in value or whatever. But first one I'm going to start with is uh, Hulk 271. I picked this up earlier this year towards the beginning of the year around January, February. Um, yeah, this book, holy crap, man, I got this for five bucks, and right now this book is going, it's, it's starting to get into the hundreds now, which is crazy, you know, second appearance of Rocket Raccoon, <coughs> I mean, hell, I mean, even if you can't get Marvel Preview 7, his first appearance, this, 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 this book is definitely the next best thing, you know what I mean, and it's still expensive, but, um, I just have a feeling closer we get to the Guardians, man, um, especially once that first trailer drops, holy crap, man, all the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff is gonna really shoot up, um, like, right now is the best time to pick up the Guardians of the Galaxy key issues, um, because a lot of them have kind of cooled down a little bit, and speaking of, you know, I still need to get Iron Man 55 and Marvel Preview 7, I, I gotta get those now, like, <laughs> this is the time to get them, especially before that first trailer drops, and it, and it reignites the, the uh, you know, the heat on these books. But, I mean, this is definitely one of my best buys of the year just because I got it for five bucks. And this, this book's really hell of expensive right now. And Strange Tales 180, first appearance of Gamora. Um, this book was really hot for a while. It's kind of tapered down a little bit. But, like I said, once, once the Guardians of the Galaxy movie hype... Uh, comes back and the first trailer drops this book's gonna go right back up again. I know it um, definitely a, uh, a great book to go, to get right now especially for Guardians of the Galaxy keys <clears throat> excuse me and speaking of Guardians of the Galaxy yeah these first couple books are gonna be all Guardians of the Galaxy stuff one I'm so oh my god this book was just like driving me nuts trying to find it's so hard to find um uh, Marvel preview number four, first appearance of Star Lord. Oh my God, I've been looking for this. I think I got it in September, so literally like nine months or more, I was hunting this book down everywhere I, and every place I ever went. No one has this book, and on eBay, this thing is is way too expensive. And I just so happened to get lucky and win this in an auction for under a hundred and. Uh, I'm just so glad I finally got this book. Uh, I have a feeling this is this book's really gonna go up big time, um, along with Marvel Preview Seven and this next book, Marvel Superheroes 18: The First Appearance of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Another book. I'm so happy I got this. This book really has a lot of potential to really go up in price. Um, another one where it was really hot for a while kind of cooled down a bit but like i said once once that trailer hits all these books man they're gonna they're gonna skyrocket so this is the time to get all of the guardians of the galaxy keys if you're interested and get them now 
All right, guys. Now we got the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff out of the way. Let's continue on. Um, Swamp Thing number 37. Um, I put it in here uh, just because, you know, Constantine is so, so popular right now. And I have a feeling that, I mean, this book's got a lot of room to grow. So, you know, this is the first appearance of Constantine. Definitely a great book to pick up. And I just showed this in my last haul, but I had to put it in here. Uh, Lois Lane 70 for Silver Age Catwoman. Uh, this book, I feel, should be worth a lot more than what it is. Um, I mean, it's Catwoman. <laughs> no one's ever going to have the money, well, unless you're a baller and you're like a millionaire. I mean, to get the real first appearance of Catwoman. But, I mean, this book is really obtainable still definitely worth picking up um and i i see this down the road really starting to go up too um just because it's a major batman uh key villain or character um definitely worth picking up and i hope this doesn't go too long guys <laughs> i'm sorry if it does um green lantern 59 um first appearance of guy gardner um, another one of those underrated books. Uh, I feel it should be worth more. It's a Silver Age Green Lantern. Um, first appearance of a Green Lantern. I mean, <laughs> you know, this book is pretty obtainable, too. Um, it, in high grades, it, it's it's going for over 100. Um, but I, I feel it, it, for what it is, it should be worth more. I, you know what? It, I, I don't know what it is with DC books, unless it's Batman. Uh, they're just so underrated like it's like only marvel like in silver age and bronze age man their books are outrageous but i mean everything besides batman and dc their books are just really undervalued and d definitely worth picking up because like i said they all have potential to to eventually go up <clears throat> and i had to put in detective comics number 411 first appearance of talia um, yeah, this is just a great book. I'm so glad to have this. And I got it for such a great price that I really underpaid for this book. And this is an extremely hot book. And Amazing Spider-Man 238. So happy to have this book. Um, got it for the, uh, like, you know, a right price. Um, 50 bucks. High grade near mint. To, uh, very fine near mint. It's got the tattoos in it still, and it's just this this is a very sought after Copper Age book. Well, it's, no, this is actually a Bronze Age. Yeah, still a Bronze Age book. Never mind. <laughs> but um, it's still a sought after book. Um, really popular book, to be honest. And uh, I'm just glad to have it. I mean, this is a pretty damn pricey book as well. And Amazing Adventures number eleven, first appearance of. Furry Beast, um, man, I, I, don't, I don't know why this book is so damn expensive, I mean, it is hard to find, I will admit that, but man, this book is really expensive, and it's pricey, man, but I'm just glad I have it, I got it for a great price, everything I, I got, man, I got it for great deals, man, I got really lucky this year, and Marvel feature number one, first appearance of the Defenders, <clears throat> this book is really starting to get hot right now. Uh, this and Defenders 1, um, you know, because there's talks of either of them getting a show or a movie, um, which I think would be really cool. But, um, yeah, definitely a book. Uh, definitely, like, a must-buy. Really great book to have. And these next two books, guys, um, I'm counting them as one. You know, it's two. X-Men 141 and 142, Days of Future Past. Holy crap, man. This this year, these books are just outrageous, guys. <laughs> these books exploded. Um, but definitely worth picking up. Um, this is, I, I've seen them. Go, they're going for about a decent price right now. So definitely try to pick these up if you don't have them now, especially before that movie comes out in, in the springtime. So, you know, like I said, if you don't have them, definitely try to get them now. Definitely worth having. 
And another book that I'm so happy I picked up this year, uh, Strange Tales 135, First Appearance of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, um, this is a book I, I actually thought I'd never get, and I got it for such a great price. I mean, uh, damn near a steal, to be honest. Um, I'm just excited to have this, and this book is, I, I, is just going to keep going up. I mean, this is a really popular book. And speaking of DC uh, undervalued key issues, this one right here, Strange uh, Adventures number 205, First Appearance of Dead Man. I just showed this not too long ago, but oh man, this book, this book is awesome, and um, it's definitely worth a pick up. Um, you know, there's talks of Guillermo del Toro doing a Justice League Dark movie, so, you know, if that does happen, this book is really going to go up. I mean, this book's going to shoot up. So this is a book to definitely pick up now because I have a feeling this is going to eventually be on par with House of Secrets 92, especially if that movie does happen. And Marvel Premiere 15, first appearance of Iron Fist. Glad I got this one I did because this book is just going through the roof now, um, especially with him getting his own show. This book is just, it, it's its past the hundreds now. Um, I paid 40 for mine, 50, 40 or 50, can't remember. But man, really high grade and just so, so happy I finally got that. And to go with it also, he's getting his own show as well. Luke Cage, Hero for Hire, number one. Another book, it was always a pricey book. But now this book is just, it's up there, man. This is very expensive. Um, but... Definitely a, a great book to get. I mean, if you guys could ever find this for a good deal, definitely hop on that book. And Captain America 100. Man, dude, I'm so glad I got this book. Um, like, this is another one of those books where, like, dude, I was just like, eh, I'm never going to be able to get that book. It's too expensive. And I got it for a great deal. I mean... Dude, I mean, this book is so, such a high grade, except for just that, but whatever, dude, it's no big deal. I'm so happy to have this big Silver Age key, and this book right here has a lot of room to grow. I mean, it's, it's not, ex well, okay, I guess you could say it's expensive, it's, you know, it's above the hundreds, but... For what it is, I mean, this book, especially to do Justice League, and he's in the movie. This is Jimmy Olsen, 134, first appearance of Dark Side. Uh, this book is, this is going to do a Thanos, definitely. This is going to explode. Um, the problem is, this book is just so hard to find. Now, I didn't do this in a haul because I, this book I picked up in the beginning of the year, and I got an amazing deal on this. Um, and one of my videos I did for a contest, I was talking about, I picked this up, 135 and Forever People won in a lot for $60. That was one of the most insane deals I've ever got on eBay. Um, obviously, they didn't, well, I, I don't know, because <clears throat> why would they have those in a lot together? Because obviously, they knew it was a dark side lot because they had this, 135, his second appearance or second cameo, and then his first full one, Forever People won. So they had them together in a lot, but why so underpriced, I have no idea. Um, but dude, like, this was a book that I was searching for everywhere, and when I found it on eBay, I didn't even think twice, I bought it, and I'm so happy to have it. And it's, an, it's a really nice high-grade copy, too, on top of that. So... We're narrowing down towards the end, guys. Starting to get into the big books. Werewolf by Night, 32. First appearance of uh, Moon Knight. Man, this book. Oh, I, I love this book so much. So happy I got this book. Um, got it for a great deal. I got it for 90 bucks. I know I got it for under 100 But um, just so happy to have this. Moon Knight's such a badass character. And... Right at the same time I got that, I picked this up too. Tomb of Dracula 10, first appearance of Blade. Love this book as well. Really trying to like get all the, the major Marvel uh, Bronze Age key issues. 
And I'm getting really close because I also picked up Marvel Spotlight 5, First Appearance of Ghost Rider, another book. Like, man, this is a book when I was a kid. Always wanted this, and it was just so expensive back then. I mean, it's expensive now, but I remember as a kid, this this was... Because Ghost Rider was really hot in the, like, early 90s, man. And this book was just outrageous. And I never thought I'd own it, and I got it, and I got it in a high grade. I'm just, I just love this book. I'm so happy I have it. <clears throat> All three of those books. And I had to put this in here. Adventure Comics 283. Man, this... This book, this book is so awesome. The first appearance of uh, General Zod and the Phantom Zone. I um, got this right around the time Man of Steel came out. And, oh, man, this, this is my oldest comic I have. Uh, my only 10-cent cover. And, man, I just, I love this book. And it's such a nice grade, this thing. I mean, you see them on eBay, and they're just tape and they're, they're just really bad condition man and mine it's got to be a 6065 at least at least I'm, I'm probably undergrading it um but god i love this book and i, I have this is another book where i just it's got a lot of room to grow i mean a huge superman villain um just so happy to have this book i absolutely love that book so much and I love this book too. Batman 232, first appearance of Ra's al Ghul or Ra's al Ghul, sorry. Um, got this for an amazing deal as well. And oh god, I'm just so happy to have this. I love this book. One of my favorite Batman villains. So happy to have it. And we're down to my last two guys. <clears throat> And you know this is going to be in here. I just showed this in my haul. But, it ha dude, it has to be in here. Uh, House of Secrets 92 for Swamp Thing. Oh, man. You know, when I did the haul video, <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to admit, I would, it, it still didn't really sink in my head that I own this book. And, oh, man, now that I think about it, I was just like, holy crap, dude. I can't believe I have this, dude. Oh, my God. This, this is such an awesome book, man. One of those books that I just never thought I'd owned. It's just way out of my price range and just got it for such a great deal. Yeah, there's a little bit, there's some issues with it, but dude, it's no big deal. It's still a nice copy. Still, still, it would still grade decent, even with the, the some of the moisture damage that's on it. I mean, it, oh, I just love this book, man. So happy I got this and I got it for such a great price. And my last book, guys. Probably the biggest book I bought this year. Huge, huge Bronze Age Grail. Oh, man. Amazing Spider-Man 129. First appearance of Punisher. Um, definitely, hands down, the most expensive book I bought. Um, I paid a lot for this. I'm not going to lie, but god damn, this thing is in such a high grade. I know if I sent this to CGC, it would grade... At least an 8085. I mean, this thing is gorgeous. Such a badass book. Um, man, it, I still can't believe I have this book. You know, I mean, man, I wonder what I'm gonna do when I when I finally get Hulk 181. I'm probably gonna just freak out. But <laughs> I mean, God, I, I I'm so happy I got this book. So that's gonna be it, guys. This, this is my top 25 books that I bought this year i hope you guys like the books and if you agree you know they're all good books to get i mean there's some so many other books that i wish i could have got this year uh you know i was gunning for iron man 55 and i ended up by not getting it um was really trying to save up for hulk 181 but you know i was just buying so many other books but i really do need to sit down and save up for that because i really want that in my collection that and giant size x-men one so you know those are some of the books that are going to be on my hit list for next year, but that's going to be it for this video. Um, yeah, these are my, my, in my opinion, my best buys of uh, 2013. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope it didn't go way too long. And I'll see you next time on my next haul. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.